Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 2nd through to the 8th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Saggy. First up, we have Major Account of the World in the upright, followed then by the King of Pentacles upright. Next, we have the Two of Pentacles in the upright followed by the Seven of Swords reversed, and lastly, the Queen of Cups in the upright position. So the overall energy, Sag, is a heavy, hit, heavy hitter here, the pretty intense world card in the upright position, which uh, indicates a closing out of a situation that has been probably long-standing and pretty important in your life. I call it the graduation card. Perhaps some of you are literally graduating, could be graduating from a course, ready to move on into a new career. Others of you could be looking at retirement this week. Perhaps you're ready to throw in the towel from a long-standing career and either just go relax and enjoy life for a while, or you could be uh, just contemplating starting up a new career. That happens. Sometimes people get tired of their career and they decide that they need to move or they have a calling to move somewhere else. So that could be the case for some of you. Others of you, it could be the end of a long-standing uh, relationship, marriage, say, for example. This can come up when the final divorce papers are being, you know, signed and we're moving on. Some of you could be uh, thinking about selling a, a home that's been in the family for many years and downsizing. Some of you could be looking at moving across the world or, you know, just moving in general uh, and general readings. <laughs> so it's going to be different for all of you. Just take what resonates. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the King of Pentacles in the upright position, which is a court card could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, sometimes this can indicate someone in your life external to you that could be important in the early part of the week. The King of Pentacles, um, if this is a person, this could be your love interest, this could be your partner, just being stable and steady, you know, holding things together, uh, being the rock that you can sort of count on. Others of you, this could represent a real estate agent, a banker, or somebody who deals in the tangible things in life. Perhaps you're uh, seeing this could also be a businessman too for some of you. Perhaps you're dealing with a businessman um, over a job or career situation. Others of you, like I said, maybe you're dealing with a real estate agent. If you have sold your home, <laughs> that would make sense. Could be dealing with a banker um, or even uh, a financial advisor. Maybe you're talking to them about something that's going on, you know, on a major scale because you do have the world, you know, governing this week. So if something is going on, you could need to speak with your uh, banker, your real estate agent, or financial advisor over something. Next card you have is the Two of Pentacles. It's a harmony in the midst of change. It can also indicate balancing finances. Again, it makes sense with the King of Pentacles here. Even if this is your spouse or love interest, perhaps you're, you have some money dealings or financial dealings or dealings with property. All the things, again, that the uh, the pentacles represent but this is harmony in the midst of change maybe some of you are moving like i said this could be moving from one property to the next this could be uh purchasing an additional property and perhaps you know you you have two on the go you could be still working and maybe taking a course or starting your own business this is just juggling and balancing things out some of you could be if you're single you could be dating two different people and if that's the case everything it's smooth sailing for now <laughs> moving on towards the weekend you have the seven of swords in the reverse position indicating no longer avoiding something now this could be anything from people to a situation seven of swords in the upright position can be trying to just avoid it just dip out get out of there sometimes it can represent a scoundrel who's trying to make off with you know your belongings you're stealing your ideas so forth and then when it's in reverse this could indicate the person gets caught they get nailed you figured them out or what have you sometimes this can simply and a lot of times it simply represents no longer avoiding dealing with something. Now this could be, like I said, a group of people. It could be someone in particular. Energies can go both ways. Perhaps somebody was avoiding dealing with you. Could have been over financial matters. But now they're no longer doing so. 
you know, this is about facing the music and dealing with it straight up. The last card you have is the Queen of Cups in the upright position. Another court card could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. For some of you, this could have been the person you were avoiding, or it could have been they were avoiding you. Now they're back on the scene. For others of you, the Queen of Cups can represent anything from uh, uh, maybe this is your spouse. This could be love interest. Again, um, you could be discussing emotional matters with this person. It could be a counselor. It could be a doctor or somebody that you're talking to. But it's about the emotional aspects of life. The Queen of Cups is known as someone who's generally very uh, emotionally mature, has run the gauntlet on emotions, knows how to process them effectively. This could be somebody you're speaking to about emotional matters, or it could just be you are embodying the energies of the Queen of Cups and perhaps people are relying upon your compassion, understanding and caring in a matter that is mostly about emotions. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below if this resonated for you. And do tell us how so. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye for now.